Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we do painting tutorials. I start this one by cutting out a little crescent moon shape with some washi tape and I tape the rest of my painting with some clear office tape. The reason I'm using different tapes is, well, I lost my big roll of paper tape. If you have paper tape, go with that, I just lost it. Once everything is prepared, I start by coloring from the horizon upwards with some violet and I'm using my Kohinoor Mondelus watercolor pencils for this, the reason being my fabric Castell set does not have a violet. Then I top off the remaining top side of the page with some dark blue, uh, their website calls this sapphire blue, but the other blues are nice as well, I just like this because it looks a bit like the yellow blue, it's just very very saturated and you're going to see what I mean in a bit. The dry version has nothing to do with the activated version, it's like completely different colors, you're just gonna see what I mean in a bit. So I color the top side of the page with it and I add a very very little bit of black just to the very top edge. Then I take my watercolor brush and I start blending from right to left, left to right horizontally from the bottom upwards. Then I bring that dark blue a bit down into the purple and I go one last time to smooth it out. I want this to be very smooth because it's a sky and I'm going for a bit of a whimsical slash dramatic look right here. While it dries, again I take my purple and I repeat the same exact steps for the bottom half of the page. So I start with that violet part and I'm going to finish it off to the bottom with my dark blue. I'm not going to be adding any black for the bottom half because I will be adding some grassy fields and some foliage there with black and I want you to be able to see it. If I were to do the sea black, you would not be able to see in the black grassy fields. So that's why we are just using some blue and purple here. Then I take my brush and I start blending from the purple towards the blue left to right, right to left, horizontally. And like I said, you can really see how saturated this blue is once you activate it with water. It's just absolutely beautiful in my opinion. Then I take my napkin, I find a clean edge and I pick up some of the paint from, from the middle, excuse my head right there, but basically I want the moon to be reflecting a bit of its shine onto the water, some sparkle, and that's why I go in and pick up some of the paint with the napkin so it gets a bit wider there, we get a very soft highlight. Once the sky has dried, I take my purple again and I color a very random mountain shape on the left side. And I cover its top with blue, so the body of the mountain is in purple, but the top, the edge, is going to be in blue. Take my brush with very little water here, and I go from the purple towards the blue, activating it. This is a very, very easy watercolor pencils, beginners friendly tutorial. We're just using some basic gradients here and some flat washes, nothing complicated. I actually used to do a lot of these back around last year and doing and during the lockdowns, if you're new to the channel, there's a whole entire playlist of this style painting, if you're into it, I'm going to link that in the description below. And once my mountain has dried, I take the same colors and I do another mountain, slightly more saturated on the right side, and when I say more saturated, I mean I use a bit more pressure on my pencils when I apply the color to get more vibrant colors. If you want less saturated, then you use less pressure. It's pretty straightforward. By now, the C part has dried, so I take my black. It has a pretty fine point, sharpen yours if it has a blunt tip. And now I'm just going to draw some very random grass slash flower shapes, straight lines, slant lines, and I'm gonna scribble on top of them. If drawing is not your thing, there is going to be a traceable available over at my Patreon page, Sunshine Arts, where we also do digital prints and full-time painting tutorials. So if any of that interests you and you'd like to first support me and the channel, links are going to be available down in the description or at the end of this video. Just click the little card with the Patreon logo. 
Then for the right side of the painting, I want like a big tree or some willow tree foliage coming through and sort of framing this entire scenery we have going on. So I'm just doing some horizontal branches and I'm very roughly scribbling on top of them. I want to make them wider on the very top around the moon so it sort of folds into the moon. And I forgot I want some tiny trees or a far away forest right beneath the mountain so I quickly do that with some blue and purple again I'm doing the tops with blue and the thicker part at the bottom with some purple I also add a smidge of black right there because why not it's not going to be an issue like not being able to see the foliage or something like that so yeah and I go with a barely barely damp brush on top with a tapping motion and just go tap 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 to activate those and what activating does it just makes it more saturated more vibrant like we already saw with that nice blue color but also right here with the black you can see how it just makes it much darker as I go on the very bottom of the page it just makes it pop much better in contrast with the whole background we have going on so I'm just randomly tapping on all of those grass blades slash flowers slash bushes and all of those branches. I'm using barely any water for this because we do not want to dilute it too much. And then I take some white opaque watercolor, I dilute it with a droplet of water and I splatter on the top part of my painting where the sky is. I protect the bottom half with a napkin because we don't want any stars over our mountains or something of the sorts. And then I add just a couple of droplets of white paint onto the sea part. That way it looks like it's reflecting also some of the stars. Then I peel off that sticker we made for the moon. It was a bit too white for my liking, so I just very lightly rubbed the blue and the purple onto my brush and tapped on top of it to make a very light lilac color just to make it a bit more balanced out with the background but still a good amount of contrast there. Lastly I proceed to peel off the tape in the opposite direction going very slow as to not tear up our page. And one last thing I wanted to try is to use the white pencil to get a bit more shine and sparkle with the moonlight reflection there. So I'm just going left to right, right to left, right beneath the crescent moon to make that white a bit more white. The reason we did not use the pencil for the stars is too transparent and you won't be able to see any stars on that purple section of the sky we have going on. If you can make your white pencil from your set work, please let me know and what your set you have. Because whites are always an issue for some reason when it comes to pencils. So here is the final result. I'd like to give a very special thank you to my Patreon supporters for the month of December and thank you all for watching. We'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye!